The Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation has awarded a $788,000 grant from the Healthy Food Initiative. Only 13 organizations in the country received this money. Julie Bursick has more on what it will go towards. Carrots, fresh green onions from Iron Roots Farm. Adam Lee puts the final touches on his Vietnamese pork meatball sandwiches. And I do in-home events and other fundraisers and whatnot if there's already a commercial facility available. Soon he'll be able to whip up his sandwiches in the Commonwealth Inc. Kitchen Incubator, a place where entrepreneurs can make their products in a commercial kitchen. We have large commercial uh, baking stoves that, you know, like 10 burner stoves with large ovens. YNDC is sharing a $788,000 grant it received from the Healthy Food Financing Initiative with the Kitchen Incubator. It plans on using the money to complete the kitchen. It's a joint project to create 44 jobs over the course of five years. One of those jobs is a kitchen incubator manager. Ben Shapiro holds the title. When folks are interested, you know, I'll be meeting with, uh, you know, people who have business ideas or products that they want to try out. Now, the Iron Roots Urban Farm is also benefiting from the grant money. It's a working farm on the south side of Youngstown, and it plans on using its share of the funding to renovate this house into a working classroom. We need to do a full renovation. I mean, the house has been vacant for a number of years. It needs quite a bit of work. It's a solid and kind of historical structure, but it is, it does need quite a bit of work. Renovations should start in a few months. We think that it will be open in mid to late spring. In the meantime, Adam Lee will keep making his tasty sandwiches, which are proving to be a popular choice. In Youngstown, Julie Bursick, 27 First News.